still on the still on the first race, first upwind leg, probably four or five minutes into it. Armando was uh, working his way to the middle slash uh, middle or left side of the course when he got a huge wind shift. I mean, it was 20 degrees, and uh, it, it kind of tacked the boat automatically. We call auto tack. He had really had no choice but to tack, and uh, did a great job with it. You know, he got a. Even though he likes that left side for pressure, that shift was so huge that he went ahead and tacked. And uh, being in sync with the shifts and staying in pressure will is more important than having good boat speed. Got to have good boat speed, but boy, you got to be in sync and stay in the pressure. And those angles will just work for you every time. So he's done a nice job staying in the pressure, keeping the boat moving, and being on the lifted tack. Let's make sure he doesn't touch that mark. He did a nice job on that windward leg, let me tell you. Right now he should be thinking, where's the pressure? Awesome. Forward's coming up right away. He's working hard. Keep a little reach going. I wish he would keep the reach. There, he's on a reach. He is not on a run. I'd stay on a reach in this light stuff. For one thing, it's practically a reach back to the finish line. He doesn't need to go on a run, and so for that reason, I would just say stay in the reach, keep the boat moving. Now he's on a run, I think, because the jib's dead. I just head right up to a reach and keep the boat going. A wing on wing might not be such a great idea. A reach, jibe, reach, jibe, reach would probably be the better way to roll on a day like today.